Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to do a full face of pillow talk. Who would have thought that that would be possible but the love for pillow talk from Charlotte Tilbury knows no boundaries and I want to do a full face, well not foundation but like you get my drift and just see is this color truly as beautiful, as flattering, as universal as the brand claims it is? Is it deserving of the hype? Does it deserve to have this many products in the same shade? We're gonna find out. So I don't have any makeup on right now and we are gonna start with some foundation. I actually got a PR package from Charlotte Tilbury which blew my mind, like mind blown. I'll put up a picture of the things that were in there. I actually have them here in front of me in this little basket and a lot of these things were in the shade Pillow Talk and I never tried any eyeshadow from Charlotte Tilbury before and I honestly a lot of these things are new to me so we are going to do basically a full face i'm going to dive into all the different products that has the pillow talk shade and i actually already from before had three things myself in the pillow talk like shade so listen we're going to do a full face of charlotte tilbury and we're going to see how does this all look when we use it all at the same time is it gonna look good? Is it gonna look boring? Is it gonna look overdone? Am I gonna be just one monochromatic pinky Miss Piggy moment? We'll wait and see. So I'm gonna start with some base products that I have myself. This is the Light Wonder Foundation. This is a light coverage, flawless looking finish. I have it in six medium. This one I have uh, bought myself and I've really been enjoying a bunch of things uh, from Charlotte Tilbury, uh, which is why I was super excited to get some PR from the brand because you know that I have been talking so much about the brand and loving so many things from the brand especially cheek products. Like I think Charlotte Tilbury makes amazing cheek products, bronzers, highlighters, blushes, and I really love this foundation as well, this light coverage foundation. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Like it's so, so stunning. I haven't tried any of the eyeshadows yet and I do like the lipsticks as well, but I, I think that sometimes with lipsticks, it's like, it's a little bit of the how important is the component for you because I definitely think that there are really, really good like lip products at the drugstore. But like, I think the big difference, I'm just gonna have a little bit more, a little squirty more. I think the biggest difference is like the packaging. Like how important is a nice packaging? And if you watched my... Uh, and if you didn't, maybe you should. I did a rankings, I think last week, if I'm not mistaken. A couple of the Charlotte Tilbury things were like top 10. Um, one of them even top three, if not top one. So I really, 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 really do like the things. So I'm super excited to be trying out even more. But I was just so surprised that there were so many pillow talk things in this package. And I was like, there's no way that there are this many pillow talk things in the world and it not being like super loved. Like these must sell super good. Right? And I don't usually do like the, the neutrally pink makeup. So I'm like, am I missing out? Am I the person that just isn't like getting the hype? I don't know, but we're going to be trying it out today. So let me blend this one out. I'm also going to be setting with some powder. Or should I do the cream bronzer first maybe? Maybe. And we also need to do some brows. I don't have any brow products from Charlotte Tilbury. I actually never have tried anything. But I heard a lot of people really loving the brow pen. But I will say, I like very specific things when it comes to brows. And I rarely like steer away. Like I like what I like. <laughs> and then I use them until they become discontinued. This is, this is like my punishment for liking things. So I have two different powders. I have the airbrush one, which is a powder that has, oh my God, can I open this one? Hello? He, he, this one, the white one. This one has a little bit of a, dare I call it, sheen to it. So it looks really good under the eyes, but I don't like it at all in my T-zone. So we are only going to be using this under the eyes, but not in the T-zone. So I do think that this powder is really beautiful and of course it's really brightening. I think it comes in a darker shade as well, but I mean, I obviously could use the light one, but I don't like this one at all in my T-zone or around my nose because it turns a little glowy and I don't love that. This one, the Airbrush Flawless Finish, I have this one in medium. This one I don't like under the eyes. I actually think it looks a little heavy under the eyes and I actually think that it darkens up, like the, it darkens up the concealer. So yeah, that's just me. I know a lot of people love this one under the eyes, but I wasn't as convinced. Let's just put it like that. 
I didn't put this anywhere around here now so that we're able to do a little cream bronzer moment. I think this cream bronzer is beautiful and I'm pretty sure you can buy a refill for this one. I have it in a medium. And I also have the powder bronzer in medium, but I will say, I think the powder bronzer in medium shows up way lighter than the cream bronzer in medium. So if you are in between shades, like I am, I am more of a light medium, I would definitely recommend you to go the medium with the powder and the light with the cream, because they are not 100% corresponding, but this is a beautiful, you can see I'm using a fluffy brush, a beautiful creamy bronzer that's not too emollient, so it doesn't look glossy or smeary on the skin, but it's still very easy to blend and very easy to build up or sheer out depending on what result you're after. Okay, let's dig in because I have quite a few pillow talks. Some of these are PR and some of these I bought myself. I always mark down in the description box with a little star and I have an explanation as well, the things that are PR and if there's not a star behind it, it means that I bought it myself. And you can also see a list further down with the brands that I have like affiliated codes with. This is Pillow Talk. It is a muted beigey pink. Is it the same in every product? So this is the Cheek Pop. I've never tried this. This is the sh Chic to Chic. English is not my first language and sometimes these tongue twisters, <laughs> they're really getting me. This is the Swish and Glow blush. So this is a glowy powder blush and I've never tried this formula and they also sent me one of these um, that I've actually never tried either, the matte uh, blushes because I do have the glowy ones in Pillow Talk. And let me open these so we can uh, see like, is it the same color here? Cause oh, a lot came out. Is it the same color? Not 100%, but it's in the same neighborhood. So let's look at these glowy ones because these are like a blush and highlighter hybrid. And as you can see, they're not the same. They're in the same neighborhood. And I think this is one of the reasons why Pillow Talk probably works. I'm gonna use this uh, matte one. Probably works in so many different products because it's in the neighborhood. It's not exactly the same, but people know approximately what they're getting. I wanna use a brush and I don't know where it is. Here, let's use this brush that actually has one of my hairs on it, why? So they know they're getting like a wearable, if you have like a lighter skin tone, a wearable nudie pink. And I don't do really matte cheeks, but that is, that is really pretty. That's why I didn't buy these matte blushes because I never do a matte chic. So I was like, there's no point in me getting a matte blush because I'm always gonna be putting something else on top. And I will say, if you have more of a, a medium tan, deeper skin tone, they have a color that they also do in a lot of different uh, like product ways that's called Walk of No Shame. It's like what I like to call a wearable red and it's really pretty and I actually have a lot of like products in that colorway because I think it is super beautiful and actually super wearable. I'm having super textured under eyes today and it's because I did a retinol eye cream. So don't mind my under eyes. That is, that's me. That's my fault, not the concealer. But I think that that looks really pretty, but let's do a little bit of the Pillow Talk Light. Should we do a little bit of the powder blush too, just to see how it is? I do think that this highlight, you can see this highlighter is just like a rose gold. It is not like that like nudie medium pink. It is just a rose gold. Basically just saying, if you like more of a neutral pinky makeup, you're probably gonna like this neutral pinky highlighter. It's not the same color, but it's close enough in family, so that you'll probably enjoy this one too. And again, I do think that this is one of the winners with this whole thing, that they're like, not the exact same color, but in the area. Should we try a little bit of this one? I have this, oh my, um, you should see the mess. Actually, I'm happy you can't see the mess in front of me. Let's do this little highlighter brush and let's just do in the middle and just sweep a little bit over this area. I mean, that does look really pretty. 
I'm actually excited to wear this one on its own because I have a sneaking suspicion that I'm really gonna like it. I'm gonna use a little bit more of the matte powder and I'm just gonna use a little bit here around my nose to blend in to the glowy part because I don't like being glowy around my nose because I feel like it accentuates too many things there that I don't need to be accentuated. But I think that that looks really pretty and I like that you can see my skin texture coming through this light coverage foundation. And what is that on my... When did that happen? Ew. My under eyes are looking a little rough today, but that's looking nice. That is looking nice. Let's do a lip liner because of course I have the Pillow Talk lip liner. I'm pretty sure that Pillow Talk, this again is PR, it started out as a lip color, right? So this is the Lip Sheet Reshape and Resize Lip Liner in Pillow Talk. And again, here we have that wearable beige pink. And this is the kind of color that Pillow Talk started out as. So I have from before, I have the original lipstick in Pillow Talk in a mini. Let's actually, let's swatch all of the different lip colors and we can see if they're the same. So this is the lipstick in color, uh, in the color Pillow Talk. Let's do the lip liner on top. Those are pretty much the same color. And I also have this one. These are so beautiful. I have them in two shades. I don't know what this one is called, but it's like a glowy lipstick. And this one is also in Pillow Talk. So you can see that this one is more sheer. And I also think that this one is a little bit more, it's not as like warm. You can see it's a little bit more cool toned. If I'm gonna be totally honest, I think it's a little bit more cool toned. Now, there is a couple of new things. This is the Lip Luster. This one I was sent, this is PR. And this is, I think, a lip gloss. This is also in Pillow Talk. Yeah, this is the same. This is the same shade, you can see, it, we are back to that being like a little warmer. You can see it's only this one that's like a little bit more cool tone. This seems to be a very pigmented lip lacquer. And I also got sent two of these new ones, which are the Airbrush Flawless Lip Blur. And they sent me Rose Blur and they sent me Pillow Talk. So I think we're gonna be using this new formula because I really wanted to try this new formula and let's see how Pillow Talk is in this one. Yeah. And you can see this is more like moussey and like a little bit more matte. But overall, they are the same color. They're just minor, minor variations. But like th this is this is like the pillow talk color. So let me put this one on my lips and then I'm going to go wash my hand because it's needed. Hmm. It's not 100% opaque. It is very, yeah, blurry, moussey. Kind of liking it. So I have never tried any eyeshadow from Charlotte Tilbury and the main reason is that I like bold, colorful, contrasty, sometimes dark makeup looks. And it's not necessarily what the brand does. So I truly never found a color story where it was like up my alley. But I kept getting requests about trying the eyeshadow and I kept getting told that you love the eyeshadow formula. So I'm excited to be trying out today. I was sent this bigger palette. This is the Instant Eye Palette, Smoky Eyes Are Forever. You can see one of them came a little smushed and I just smushed it back in, but this one truly is a little darker. This truly is a little darker and it looks really, really pretty but since we are doing something else today we're gonna do the pillow talk one i also got sent the it's a it's a brown one it's called exaggerize in maybe it's just called exaggerize honestly i don't know it's this one the beige one like i would never buy something like this even though it may it might be super good quality because of the color story i mean the cheek products and the lip products like i bought a i've spent a lot of money at charlotte tilbury because i love them but i'm excited to be trying out actually this one that's the a uh, luxury palette in Pillow Talk because of how hyped Pillow Talk is and because of how hyped her eyeshadows are. So I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best and I might actually bring in, because speaking of um, Walk of No Shame, I do have the eye pencil. Again, I bought it myself. This is like a red. Maybe we'll do a little bit of work with this one afterwards. Let me see if I can put some eye primer on and let's see what we can do with this Pillow Talk eye palette and see like how I feel about the shadows because like something can be really good quality 
even though they might not be the, the, the color story that you usually go for. Okay, let's start with the two matte shadows and like see where we go. I'm gonna be using my own brushes by Cinch Beauty. Cinch Beauty is my own beauty brand and these brushes are always linked down in the description box. So when you see brushes with these like orangey yellow handles, those are Cinch Beauty, which is my brand. You know what? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I will say this color is, you can see here, not as pink as the Pillow Talk lipsticks are. A little bit more similar to the cheek products that have a little bit more beige in them. Again, not bad, not bad. Let's use the lighter matte in the inner part. I mean, obviously this is super pretty and very neutral and nice, but I mean, it looks super beautiful. Should we try and do that like sparkly shade then? Let's try and do that one. And I am going to be spraying it because I want it to like not fall down all over my cheeks. At least stick a little bit on the lid. <laughs> we'll see what happens. That's a, a little hint of shimmer. Nothing super extraordinary. I mean, if you're used to like the sparkly shadows from indie brands, this is not gonna impress you that much. I feel very Shania Twain. That doesn't impress me much, but it's a very wearable and kind of sophisticated glammy shade. I mean, the quality is pretty good. It's sophisticated. It does feel high quality. The mattes are really nice, but I mean, obviously these eyeshadows are never gonna be favorites for me the way that I love the cheek products and a bunch of the lip products as well. But I mean, that looks nice. Should we try a little bit of that satin color in the inner corner, the, the like light one? Oh, that's actually surprisingly nice. Not bad. Do you know what I wanna do? Do you know what I wanna show you? I wanna do a, if I can find it. I wanna do like a little, like a little wing but like I wanna make sure that the wing is more about the lower lash line than the upper lash line. So I'm gonna put this in the waterline. And again, this is the Walk of No Shame eye pencil. And I'm gonna put it a little bit on the lower lash line too. And now with the brush, I'm just gonna be smudging on this one a little bit and just dragging it out so that it looks a little bit like this, but you can see the emphasize is on the lower lash line, so we're not making it too heavy on the top lid. But I think that that looks really, really sexy. Yum, yum. So I think I'm gonna leave it like this, but I have a new mascara that I wanna try, and this is the uh, Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes, and I have it in Dream Pop. But I like putting a half lash on, so I'm gonna put a half lash on today as well. So since this is, this is a colored mascara, I'm gonna use this on my bottom lashes. That, what is this applicator? <gasps> okay. Oh, it's really giving a lot of color. It's also, uh, yeah, like you can see, I was gonna say it also is a little messy and I feel like I can make a mistake and I didn't even have time to finish the sentence before I gooped. Oh, did you say I gooped in my eye as well? Yeah, under my eye, in my eye. This mascara does not discriminate. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna have to get back to you on this mascara. It is a little messy, but at least it's like, giving a lot of color. I mean, I can't can't say anything else. It's pretty cool, honestly, but I'm gonna do a half lash and let's chat about what I think. Does a full face of like pillow top, does it work? Is it a thing? I would argue it is. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. This is the finished look. And I mean, obviously, this is a very grown-up, sophisticated look. Everything looks beautiful. I love the complexion. Like, 
The cheek products are my favorites. And I think that this is where Pillow Talk shines the brightest for me because a nudie pink color, like a little beige pink leaning thing, it does work on my skin tone. I am a light medium with a neutral golden undertone. And even though I prefer something warmer, these kind of like beige pinks really do work on my skin tone. When it comes to the lipsticks, they are also the least beige ones. I also feel that I got a little bit of like a rim. Hmm, I don't know about that. I'll, I, will, I will see. I think the color is beautiful and I can see why a lot of people love it, but I don't love pinks on me. And I think that is the reason why I've been gravitating to, so much towards the um, Walk of No Shame, because honestly, it's such a beautiful neutral red. I love it. I mean, you can see the, the liner here. It's like a darker burgundy version of it. But the reason why I think that Pillow Talk has worked as good as it has and the way that they keep expanding on the line and why people love it is not only is it a wearable, like, neutral pink, she also seems to be adapting the color a little bit towards what kind of a product it is. If it is a lip color, if it is a cheek product, if it is an eyeliner or a mascara, it's not the exact same shade of neutral pink, she changes it so that it actually makes sense with the formula as well, which makes it, even though I'm doing a full face of Pillow Talk, even though like all the colored products basically on my eyes, except the eyeliner, is Pillow Talk, it's not a 100% monochromatic look. Like th there is some life to it, there is a little movement to it. And again, like I said, if this isn't your shade, if you are medium tan darker, a uh, walk of no shame literally is a beautiful color that cannot recommend it enough. Let me know what you think about this. I'm gonna use a little setting spray. I was actually sent a big size of the airbrush setting spray, but I have a little left in the one that I bought myself, so... I think this is a beautiful setting spray. I actually think it really does something, and I like this small one for traveling. Can you open this one? Oh, you can open this one. A sprayer is beautiful. I'm definitely gonna be filling this up and still using this one. Uh, when traveling because I think that it is beautiful, but yeah, I really like how the skin is looking I really like how everything is looking is this lip color eye color my favorite combo No, but there's nothing wrong with the quality and there's nothing wrong with the color We all just have different preferences again Everything will be linked down below some of my links are affiliated and if you do shop through my affiliate links I do earn a small commission and like I said before I will mark down below which things are PR and which things I bought myself with my own money All the info is always in the description box. Thank you so much for watching the video Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me if you would like to see more dramatic eye looks from me And I hope you're having a great day and I will see you very soon again in a new video. Bye!